This is Numeric Citizen here. In today's video, as you know, I'm a big fan of Craft, but I'm still using Notion. Here's why. So the use of Notion in my um, digital content creation uh, is mostly related to content collection. Um, the content collection itself is uh, depending on Notion API. Uh, to be able to use Notion API with a ser other, another service like um, IFTTT, which is, a, which is an automation web service, it's also possible to uh, interact with Notion API from other services like Matter. So here's an example on the screen with Matter. Matter is a web service for reading article online. Uh, so you find an article interesting, you can save it in Matter. And then from there, when you're reading article in Matter, you can highlight some portion of text and those highlights can be saved in Notion because Notion offers API that Matter can consume in order to communicate content and then save that information into a Notion uh, database or document. So if I'm reading an article like this, and if I want to uh, highlight this text there, um, so it's easy to uh, just um, highlight this text. And then when the text is selected, after a few minutes, it will be saved into a document within Notion. If I go in here in Notion, where I have a, a document where all the, um, the matter library highlights has been saved. So if I take one, um, like this one. So the author, the date, the link to the original content, uh, the publisher, and everything has been saved because Matter is able to format those information and push them to uh, Notion in order to save them into a document. So that's the reason, uh, one of the reasons why I'm still using Notion. And those highlights get used in any of my uh, content uh, that I'm creating or publishing on the web. And when I do that, I can change the icon in Notion and say, hey, I did use this thing somewhere. And I could even add a link to back to craft in order to set where I'm using this actual um, highlights coming from Matter. The other use case uh, for using Notion is uh, relating to um, uh, Twitter. So when I'm using Twitter for reading my timeline, if I find a tweet that I like and I, I hit like, I'd like to save the reference to this tweet uh, somewhere in a database. So this is where uh, Notion comes into play also with uh, uh, by using the Notion APIs. If I retweet uh, a tweet that I like, I'd like to save that retweet also. And in order to do that, I can just put an hashtag within the quote tweet, and then um, I'll be able to save the reference to this actual retweet into a Notion um, document. And the way to do that is I'm using IFTTT, which will uh, kind of look at my action on Twitter. And as soon as I like a tweet, or if I do a retweet using the hashtag quote tweet, then uh, IFTTT will send this reference to a uh, Notion document. So here's the uh, liked tweet document where all the tweets that I liked in the past has been saved. And when there's a check mark there, it simply means that I did use this tweet somewhere in my other uh, document or article I'm writing or I'm working on. It's the same for quoted retweets where I can save all the reference that I'm retweeting uh, and then I can refer to them uh, somewhere else in my content creation workflow. So that's for the liked tweet and the retweets. The other use case is for uh, the same kind of uh, process happens when I'm liking YouTube videos. So I'm watching a bunch of YouTube videos and if I like one of them, then IFTTT will trigger an applet where it will save a reference to this uh, YouTube video into a Notion document. So again, if I look at my Notion environment, you'll see that I have a, um, a page where like uh, YouTube's videos. I also include, if uh, uh, you see there, an instruction on how to use those reference in my 
um, in my content creation workflow. So in this case, I'm mostly referring to those videos in order to be potentially included in a future update to the craft Bible. So again, for those to be uh, used, I just click on one of the reference. I have the description, the link that comes with the description if there, were, uh, if there was one. And also I can just uh, use the actual reference to the uh, source video if I want. So that's the other use of Notion, even if I'm using Craft a lot. Another use case of Notion for me is to save a reference to any uh, discussion happening around Craft on Reddit. So there is a subreddit called uh, Craft Docs, uh, which I'm monitoring with the IFTTT web service. And as soon as there is a new uh, discussion thread, uh, opening in this subreddit, then it will be saved as a reference in a Notion document. And the way it works, it's pretty simple. If you look at this um, applet in IFTTT, it says if there is a new post in a specific subreddit, then what I want to do is create a page uh, within my uh, Notion environment where it will contain the reference to the actual uh, discussion happening on Reddit. So again, if I go in this uh, subreddit which is about craft and all the uh, discussion there there's a reference in notion which happens to be a top reddit discussion about craft and again it's the same process if i want to use that in the craft bible in order to add a, uh, something interesting then i can use this reference and um, I, I see the starting uh, thread and then i can put the reference there which happens to be here and I can use that in any content like in the Craft Bible uh, for uh, something I want to reference. So that's the other case of uh, Notion. It's for saving references to uh, the discussion about Craft on, sub on Reddit. Another use for uh, Notion is by using the Safari extension uh, Web Clipper, uh, the, the Notion Web Clipper, which happens to be pretty cool and pretty uh, easy to use. So uh, if I'm using, uh, if I'm reading a, an article uh, on the web and I want to save that specific article into Notion, then I'll use the Notion uh, Web Clipper. So let's say I have a, an article about installing macOS on a specific Mac Pro. Um, if I want to save that, I'll click on the uh, Notion extension there. I can leave the actual uh, uh, article as it is. I can set which uh, page I want to create this document and in which workspace. And then I sim simply save this document. Uh, I can open again the uh, Notion. And if I go in the uh, SDD box, SDDC box project, I go there. At the bottom, you see the actual uh, article has been saved, and I can look at the uh, article content, which pretty much retains the actual uh, formatting of the uh, article. It's pretty cool, it's pretty nice, and the reason I'm using Notion because um, uh, for this specific uh, web uh, content uh, clipping uh, is because uh, I do have a specific project, it's called the SDDC Box project, and for that, I'm not using Craft. I'm using a Notion because I think it's better for this specific use case. And when I want to save content from the web, I use the Notion Web Clipper, which happens to be pretty useful for me to save content into Notion. So that's the other case of Notion use. Another use case of Notion is for saving items coming from Raindrop. Raindrop is a bookmarking service uh, on the web where there's a, a, a Safari extension where I can save items into Raindrop. So what you're seeing on the screen right now are those saved bookmarks coming from the web. And it's mostly used for things to watch um, on YouTube or other video content that I want to watch. When I'm saving an item into a raindrop, if I want to save a reference to this item into Notion, then I'll make sure that I have a, a specific tag on the uh, item, which is uh, named Save to Notion. Uh, so if I have this tag, then again, 
um, IFTTT will detect this and then it will save a reference to this uh, Rindra bookmark into a Notion uh, document. And the reason I'm doing that is because I find Notion to be uh, more uh, powerful in uh, the ability to add text or content uh, describing a specific bookmark. Uh, I don't like to work in Rindra for that, so in that case um, I'll be using um, Notion in order to save uh, the reference into Notion. So that's the other use case for Notion. So if I summarize this uh, use of uh, Notion, uh, the data collection uh, that I'm doing with Notion is possible only because Notion offers APIs and I can interact with them with a web service called IFTTT. Um, so Maybe in the future, as soon as Craft offer APIs, I'll be able to stop using uh, Notion and then fold the content into Craft. The other thing is um, actually the Craft extension has been uh, kind of put on hold. And um, while we're waiting for that to restart and then eventually come to life, um, Craft extension could, could also in the future help me reduce my dependence on a Notion for saving content from the web. So again, uh, APIs from Notion and Craft extension are the key for um, stopping using Notion in the future. So that's it for today's video. I hope you better understand why I'm still using Notion. Uh, it's not because Craft is bad or has become bad. It's because uh, uh, Notion offers APIs and a Craft extension are still on hold. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for being there. Uh, if you don't want to miss any future videos, uh, don't forget to subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel or don't forget to like this video if you liked it or if you learned something uh, watching it. Thanks again for being there and see you guys for another one. Bye.